At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Liverpool up against Arsenal. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Number 14, Jordan Henderson. Number 6, Thiago. Number 20, Diogo Jota. Number 11, Mohamed Salah. And the match begins. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Can he finish this? Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. He's driven in the corner. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Salah. Alexander Arnold. Here's Salah. Chance to put them in front. Oh, a goal for Liverpool. The first goal of this final. And how important could that be? Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Started by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Saka. Tomiyasu. Thomas now. Skipping away. Martin Odegaard. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Thiago. Henderson has it. Salah. Will he play it in? Alexander Arnold. Fabinho. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. Can they hit on the break? Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Oh, but they've lost it now. Diogo Jota. Now Mo Salah. What can they do from here? And let's give credit to the defending. Thomas Partey. On and on he goes. Untidy in possession. Well, those stats don't lie. Liverpool haven't controlled the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Henderson. Well, now he's let that run out of play, and it will be a throw-in here.
poor touch and they no longer have custody of the ball and a throw in it's going to be Gabriel it's with Erdogan an attack that's easy on the eye and Lacazette with options around him and pulled back it did look on for them but not to be and the counter looks on here options available and back with Thiago Jota Henderson Liverpool have given it away Partey this could square the game oh a goal he's equalised was he made for moments like this on an occasion like this Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Lokonga now Lacazette Partey could be threatening chance to take the lead Martin Erdegaard was spot on with that challenge Henderson Alexander-Arnold Salah Keeping the ball moving Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them Just wasn't a very good pass, finally And into the last 30 minutes now. Making progress. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Thiago. And this is Diogo Jota now. Salah. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. very instructive to see how Arsenal respond to that setback Tierney 
points. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Obama Young. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Can they hit on the break? Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Obama Yang. Well, possibilities in the centre. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Yeah, Emerick Obamian. And return to Obamian. Clean challenge. Diogo Jota. Henderson has it. And space to cross it. Fabinho. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Must be! Oh, a superb save! And the flag has been raised here. Well, there can't have been a lot in that. Substitution, for the Substitution time it is. Number 13, Jordan Henderson. And Mohamed Salah now. Alexander Arnold. Salah. Well, here it is again. He goes past these markers so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. scoreline here going forward well Obama Yang but ultimately up a cul-de-sac we will have three minutes of additional time at the end here strong but fair tackle this might be ideal for the counter and there goes the final whistle the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment.
Full marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. And really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time.